Okay, so I'm trying to like bring out all the different color veils I have, but I swear that this one is a little light and I feel like it's making me look orange. But we're gonna plug through. We're gonna hope I'm just... Hey, how's it going? Okay, let's get into this tag video. I swear, we try to like reach out of our comfort zone and this is what happens. So I'm just gonna plug through. Okay. Hey, boo-boo. You like my lipstick? Um, <laughs> which is all over my teeth. Okay. Okay. We're going to get through this. We're going to do an all about eyes tag. I um, was not tagged by anybody in particular to do this tag, but I was never an eye makeup kind of girl until recently. Um, and since I've become one, I thought, you know what, I'm going to just do this tag. And I will tag a bunch of you down below. Um, it's an older tag, so if you have already done it and I tagged you, let me know. I will go watch it. Um, but this is going, this is turning out to be a rambly video and we haven't even started yet. So I'm just going to jump right into it. And there are 10 questions. we we'll get started. Question number one is, uh, what eye cream slash serum do you use? So I have used a couple, but the one I keep going back to is this um, Lancome Regenerie Lift Multi Action Eye. Uh, it just comes like this. So yeah, it just comes, there's a whole line of this stuff, but uh, this is this one and it, I don't know, hold on. It's like that. I'm almost out of this one. I mean, I made a big dent in it. But I find it to be nice and moisturizing, um, helps with any dark circles, and I've just loved using that one. I swear, I look oompa loompa orange today. Anyways, uh, what is your favorite under eye concealer? Um, recently I bought this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Everyone and their mother um, has had this, and I don't know why I just got on the boat. So this one is in Brightener. It's like a pink shade. It has this little sort of sponge tip on the top, you twist it and you put it on. Um, I've really been liking this. I'm really tempted to go by like the yellow toned one too for when I want like a yellow toned highlight, but I still have quite a bit or like about a quarter of my mineralized concealer from MAC, so I'm waiting to finish that one out. But this one, like both in terms of consistency, it doesn't get cakey on me. I know some people don't love the applicator and I get it. It's not like the most hygienic applicator. It's a sponge that just absorbs everything and you can't really clean it. But the consistency of this, the kind of coverage I get, and at a drugstore price. So I think I got mine for like $10 because I just picked it up without waiting for a coupon. But if you wait for like a store coupon or, or a manufacturer's coupon, you can get this for pretty cheap. Um, I know when I was in the U.S. a couple weeks ago at Rite Aid, I want to say Maybelline was like buy one, get one 50% off their whole line. So, um, really great deal. Amazing product. Can't recommend it highly enough. Question three. Um, what is your favorite brow product? I have to say that my brow, Anastasia Brow is in Ebony is, is it. Um, I like that it's a pencil, but it doesn't go on too uh, harsh and I like that it has a spoolie on the end. I know some people complain that these don't last very long. I've had mine for months and months and months and I, I'll i link my like brow, it's not a brow tutorial, it's a brow video um, where I just ramble about my brows. I'll link that down below but I don't like draw in my eyebrows. Like I have a couple places I fill it in um, and so this has lasted me forever and I really like the consistency. I, it's raved about for a good reason. It is an awesome product. Um, I wish there was something at a drugstore price that was just as good, but I haven't quite found anything yet. This guy, bees knees. Uh, what is your favorite? Question four is what, your, what is your favorite eyeshadow primer? I love to prime with something that has some color to it, so I like um, Paint Bots by MAC. I know the, so hold on, I've got one here. I have a Maybelline color tattoo. This one is in Pomegranate Punk. Um, which I really love, and the reason I say MAC, and so this is the, this, this, this one that is open, is the Maybelline one. Um, and they work, for me I found they work just as well as the MAC ones. The reason I say MAC is because I have more MAC than Maybelline. Um, and so I can attest to how long wearing they are, the, the range and the colors. I like how the colors are dynamic. Um, so this is in Rubenesque, which is gorgeous. This is my back. It's a paint pot, Rubenesque. Um, 
I like how the colors are multi-dimensional. I like how they prolong the wear of my eyeshadow, but also give a really sort of deep, intricate kind of color. I love them. I've got three, and I can't speak to them highly enough. Um, question number five. We're breezing through this. We're doing well. What's your favorite eyeshadow palette? So I've got to say that my Sephora plus Pantone Universe color of the year, I think that's what it's called. The Eye Radiant Thumb Artistry Set. I have a whole review swatch demo thing on this. I will link it down below. I hate how clunky it is, but I love the colors. I love how well they work. I have no bad things to say about the actual shadows. The packaging leaves a little to be desired. But um, if you want some more ramblings and swatches, I'll link my video that I did on that one down below. And last time I was in Sephora, which I want to say was like last week, um, I still saw them kicking around the store. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're also still online. So you can still get your hands on it if you still are interested and you missed out when it first launched. <laughs> okay. Um, eyeshadow primer palette six. Is that where we're at? Yeah. What's your favorite eye makeup remover? I usually just use my Ren cleansing balm, but it does burn my eyes a little bit. So when I was at the body shop a couple weeks ago, more than a couple weeks ago, I don't know, whenever I did that haul, I picked up their chamomile gentle eye makeup remover. It smells like chamomile. It's so nice and gentle on my eyes, but it takes everything off. Um, I still have a lot in here, so it lasts you for a good amount of time, and it's a reasonable price. Um, so this is what I've been loving when I just want to take like a straight eye makeup remover to my eyes. If either I have a too much eye makeup on and I need something a little bit more heavy duty, or my eyes are feeling sensitive and I don't want to take my cleansing balm right to them, I'll reach for that guy. Uh, question seven, what's your favorite mascara? It's the Hourglass Film Noir. It has a long name. Full Spectrum Mascara. This guy. Also have a review and demo on this, which I will link down below. Um, I adore this guy. It has like a $33 price tag, which I don't love, but I adore it. If you're not into like a wet formula, this guy is not for you. It's a super wet formula, but if you're all about that drama in your lashes and you like wet formula mascaras, I'd recommend this guy. Especially if you have like a gift card or during one of those Sephora sales or Ebate. Um, like I know Ebates was having some crazy money back on Sephora. So if you're ever wanting to try it during one of those kinds of events, it's not a bad idea. I don't know why I'm like rambly today, but anyways, rambly and like running out of breath and all over the place. <laughs> Number, no lipstick. Eight, what is your favorite eyeliner, gel, coal, felt tip? So I'm not a huge gel or felt tip kind of girl. I'm still sort of getting used to wearing eyeliner. I like it. I just, um, I'm still practicing with it. So I'm not a huge geller or felt tip on a daily basis. But what I do wear on a daily basis is like a pencil liner. And I've tried the MAC ones, but they don't sit in my waterline and they run. Like I get like black and brown all down my face. Not all down my face, but like the almost raccoon eyes, you know what I mean? You're like cleaning up under your eyes all day. The ones that I love um, because of their long wearing capacity, their color range, um, their multi-dimensional sort of color, like it's not a one-tone color, is the Stila, um, the, the, the crayon ones, like they have, they have felt tip ones, but this is just the crayon ones. Um, I have a whole bunch of these, and I think I might just do a video where I sort of review them and do swatches, but they're, I guess the official name is the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliners. They come in all kinds of colors. If you wanted, like, one color that you could wear in your waterline as a liner, um, you could sort of drama it up and tone it down, I would go with Lionfish. It's like a beautiful, almost red-toned brown. Um, it's right there. I don't know if you can see that. Again, I'll do, like, a whole review video on these guys, but um, in terms of an eyeliner, they are a little bit pricey, but I can't recommend these guys highly enough. So that is my favorite eyeliner. You keeping up? I feel like, does anyone else watch Gilmore Girls? I used to watch it all the time and I just got used to how quick it was. And then one of my cousins or my friends or something sat down to watch it. They were like, how do you keep up? It's like a million words a minute. So I think I sort of got infected by the like, really quick Lorelai Gilmore dialect. But anyways, question nine is what is your favorite single eyeshadow? And that is, does not need a second to think about. Well, it needs a second, obviously. You need to process the question and come up with an answer. But um, without hesitation, it's Tracks by MAC, 
which is on my eye. Um, but yeah, it's this gorgeous sort of this beautiful purple color. has like gold running in it. It's beautiful. I adore it. Um, yeah. And what is my last what question? It's what is your favorite, what are your favorite sunglasses? So it is my Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses, which I showed you my what's in my bag tag. I want to say it's these guys. I'm trying to see if there's a style number. So I think it's DG4167. GG4167. Um, they were part of their campaign, like their Baroque campaign, <laughs> campaign last year, I want to say, but don't we just love these? Aren't they awesome? Can we do the rest of the video in my sunglasses? And I can pretend I'm so cool that I have to wear sunglasses inside. But yeah, I, if you can't tell, I love giant sunglasses that are statement pieces, so, or glasses in general that are statement pieces, so these guys are no exception. And I love them, and we're going to end the video with these clown glasses on, because they're so cool. Those are my 10 answers to those questions. As I said, I will tag people down below. Um, it was a fun tag to do, um, even though I ran out of breath, so please feel free to do it. Let's do three points of positivity. I'm going to share three blogs that have brought me a lot of happiness. Um, makeup and beauty and all this kind of fun stuff is just a nice creative outlet for me, and... Um, while I spend most of my time on YouTube because it's just what I'm used to and what I do for most of the time that I'm sort of engaging in this forum, I've been getting into blogs recently, so there are a couple that I wanted to mention. Um, one you guys have probably heard of, it's called Makeup and Beauty Blog, so Karen um, is the author of that one. She's really cool, she does sort of a lot of different, it's mainly sort of beauty, but she does some, um, she has her cat who's adorable and she does some pictures of food and um, flowers and all that kind of stuff. There's one particular post she had up a little while ago that I sort of have favorited and I've printed it out because I really like it. I will link that blog post down below. But just feel free to go look at her blog. She gets all the new collections, she reviews them, she does looks, she's awesome. So that's definitely the first um, piece of joy I've been getting in theme with sort of blogs that bring me joy. Um, the second is Laura, who is a beautiful um, friend I'm gonna call her um I don't know why I, I have these like I don't make friends easily right so I like sometimes feel weird with applying certain labels but I'm gonna go with friend because I don't know what else you label someone who's just sweet and supportive and kind and yeah so uh, Laura has um, her own awesome blog which I will link down below it is in French uh, she does speak English though so you can definitely interact with her um, through that way but she's just super sweet super supportive um, has a really beautiful blog and I've just loved interacting with her both on Instagram and through her blog and she's just just such a sweetheart that has been making me smile this week um this I swear and then the third vlog that's really been making me smile is um, my beautiful friend Desle who is a sweetheart and watches and I butchered your name I'm so sorry if I just said that wrong sweetie um, she's always super supportive and always super sweet and I just recently this week learned that she also has a blog um, and it's really cool she does um, I, I read a couple posters just on like fashion and outfits of the day and I need all the kind of help I can get in that regards so I will link her blog down below. Go send her some love. She is an absolute sweetheart. I'm running out of breath. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and take a deep breath and drink some water and calm myself right back down. Um, and that's all I wanted to tell you today. Anyways, I am sending you huge amounts of love. Um, great big thank yous for being here. Hoping you're doing amazingly today splendidly that you finding something that you are finding something that makes you smile and I just want to leave you as always by reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick bye guys